Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I'm already on the edge of my seat when I saw this video recommendation. The Russian priest Vladimir Ugriumov converts to Islam. So if you've been following this channel, you know that I come from an orthodox Christian background and I liked to believe that my struggle with Islam was already profound. I kept on talking about the clash with the Ottomans on the Balkans the history of Islam on the Balkan, but in Germany as well. How I hated Islam and how I came to appreciate Islam, etc., etc., you name it. But all of those struggles are absolutely nothing in comparison to this man who spent 15 years as a priest in the Orthodox Church. I can't even imagine what this man went through to then convert to Islam. With no further ado, guys, let's have a look. After spending 15 years as a priest in the Orthodox Church, an event happened to him that radically changed his whole life. Vladimir Ugriumov is a priest in the Orthodox Church. His story began when a Christian girl converted to Islam. And this girl used to live not far away from where the priest lived. And he as a priest, this subject caught his attention. So Reverend Vladimir began to study Islam to find out the reason that drives many people to convert to Islam. When he began studying Islam, he found that there are many commonalities between Islam and Christianity. But the most important thing that drew the attention of Reverend Vladimir when studying Islam and attracted him strongly... Wow, man is the ease of the concept of monotheism in Islam compared to the concept of the Holy Trinity in Christianity. And this is really what it boils down to for me as well. First, you are a Christian, automatically by default you are a Trinitarian, then potentially you might become a Unitarian, and by that metric you already start flirting with Islam, because Islam, after all, is the purest version of monotheism we have right now. The foundation of Islam being being Tawhid, the foundation of Islam being monotheism, this is the strongest point of Islam because the declaration of faith is that there is no God but God. Within the Christian faith, however, you will have to declare Jesus as Lord. You will have to declare the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit as your God. Not gods, plural, but one God. You will have to make one out of three. And only like that you will be able to stay in the Christian church. And moreover, you will have to accept the crucifixion as a pillar of your faith as well. Without the crucifixion, there is no Christianity. There is no cross. And that means that without the crucifixion, which is an event in time, you cannot be a Christian. So you will have to put your faith upon a historical, event. And to put your faith upon a historical event is extremely tricky. Because if you look at Buddhism, for example, and you put your faith into the Buddha that has or has not enlightened himself under the Bodhi tree thousands of years ago, what do you really have in the now? By declaring that you believe in one God, now you are declaring a transcendental message. You are saying this has always been true and this will always be true. I believe in God. I am a believer. But if you have to base, you have to root your belief system upon something that happened or might have not happened, this is a very frail ground to stand upon. Muslims believe that there is only one God. This God is the God and creator of Jesus Christ and his mother. And he is the same God that Jesus Christ was referring to in the Gospel of John by saying, my God and your God. Yeah, makes sense. And he is the same God that Jesus Christ worshipped and prayed to on the mountain in the Gospel of Luke 6.12. Muslims do not believe that Jesus is God, but rather believe that he is the messenger of God and the prophet of God. Well, man, he was a full-blown priest. After completing the 48-year-old Reverend Vladimir studying Islam, 
That sentence is a bit weird. He knew that this religion is the religion of pure monotheism and is the religion of all the prophets. So he left his service in the church completely, converted to Islam and decided immediately after that to go to Hajj on foot. Wow. Reverend Vladimir mentioned his feelings when he heard the call to prayer for the first time in Turkey before his conversion to Islam. He said, I felt a special feeling when I heard the call to prayer. It was as if my soul was withdrawing into the mosque. After converting to Islam, priest Vladimir Ugruyumov changed his name to Said Mohammed. But why did he shave his beard? What happened? <laughs> why? Ah, there it is. After the present time, said Mohammed continues to walk to Mecca. The program of the number of steps on his personal phone shows that he took more than 4 million steps towards Mecca. All right, guys, and this is already it for this quick video. As I said in the beginning, I can only imagine his struggle, man. But at the same time, I can relate. If you do not believe in the Trinity, you cannot make yourself believe in it. What I really loved about the Quran is that it distinguishes between believers and non-believers. Of course, the West will twist this. Oh, they're talking about the infidels and whatnot. But ultimately, it really clearly distinguishes between people that actually believe in one God and people that do not. And I say that if you believe in one God, that's all you can do. There is nothing that can be forced upon you. You cannot choose this. It is something that you really cannot choose. From the moment that I started thinking, from the moment that I started remembering, I always believed in one God. Even without a concept of religion, I always believed in God. No matter what I did, guys, Buddhism, Hinduism, some sort of spiritual practices, shamanism and whatnot, I always believed in one God. That's me. And when I returned to Orthodox Christianity, I had to embrace the Trinity and I really tried for the first time in my life I really tried to believe in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit as one but it didn't work no matter what I tried to do it didn't work I went to church, I fasted, I did the pilgrimage to Athos and what not it did not work I couldn't make myself believe in a triune God I remember clearly talking to my fellow Orthodox brothers and they telling me how amazing it is that I finally embraced the triune God. That word alone, no disrespect, but that word alone made me cringe. I do not worship a triune God. I simply do not. No matter what I try to do, I cannot. And believe me when I say that I really loved orthodoxy and I really wanted to be 110% orthodox. I really wanted to embrace it. However, every time I heard Jesus is God or the Trinity is your God, I was cringing. I couldn't accept this as truth because it doesn't resonate with me. It is the same thing as if you would tell me now, hey, you have to be homosexual. From this day out on, marry a man and adopt some children. This is your life now. Isn't it beautiful? I simply couldn't. No matter what I would do, I couldn't make myself believe that this is right. It is that simple. That attraction is no choice. And therefore, yet again, I do understand that if this man went on throughout his life for over 15 years being a priest, really trying to worship God, to love God, to pray to God with all his might, with all his love, I of course understand where he is coming from. But to then decondition yourself and remove yourself from that environment to wave your brothers goodbye ultimately to say bye to the church leave all of that for islam is of course bravery beyond any measures all right guys but this is it for today's video if you liked it leave the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel via patreon for example all the links are in the description box below as always guys may god bless you all much love and peace